everyone and welcome back to So What If I Sew or welcome if you're new. Um, I'm Jess and this is my channel all about sewing, dressmaking and all things stitch related. And today it is February, uh, um, how January seemed to last about three years but also has gone incredibly quickly. Um, and I'm delighted and so excited to bring you a collaboration with one of my favourite sewing YouTubers, the lovely Tamlin from Sewn on the Time. Um, those of you who've subscribed to me for a while may remember Tamlin and I collaborating last year where we did a same fabric, different pattern sort of challenge collaboration where we had the same pattern, we did a little intro video telling you, sorry, with the same fabric, obviously, um, and we were like, oh, we could make these things and then at the end of a certain amount of time we revealed what we'd made. Um, hilariously, we actually made something quite similar with different patterns, which is really funny. Um, but it was a great time. I really enjoyed collaborating with her. It was really fun. And the opportunity has come up to do something again. So we both jumped at it and I can't wait to show you guys what we're actually going to do. So this year's collaboration was originally like the kind of original concept was to flip it around. So do the same pattern, different fabric. And we were kind of thinking, oh, that could be fun, you know, like, but what would we do? And the thing is with patterns as well, like, having the same fabric you can make two completely different garments but choosing a pattern you kind of have to choose something both you actively want to make and obviously as well something that will suit both of you or is you know just generally doable for both of you so we sort of racked our brains and then we were chatting away and Tamlin mentioned that she wanted to have a go at the Sicily slip which is you guys know is on my make nine this year I was going to make it in February anyway and then she mentioned she was thinking about doing the Friday Pattern Company Saltwater, which I have always wanted to have a crack at because it's one of those sort of fashionable slip dresses, whereas the Sicily is more of an, a dress in its own right. Uh, the Saltwater slip is more like those 90 slips you can like layer over stuff, but it does have different cup sizes. So I have actually been interested in making it for quite some time. Then we decided, why don't we both make both? And then we can compare and see which one we like more. Uh, both of us might like the same one. We, but we, I assume we'll like both of them anyway. Um, but we want to do a bit of a compare and contrast and see how we both got on with both patterns, um, which is super fun. So we'll use different fabrics. We haven't consulted on fabrics, of course. I have no idea what Tamlin's using. When I see her video go live today, I will also go over and see what she's using. I'll show you my fabrics in a minute. And we're both going to make both dresses and see basically, you know, which one we like, if we've got comments, if we've got favourites, if we've got recommendations. We're also teaming up with Rainbow Fabrics Kilvin to give you guys a discount code for the whole month, um, which you can see in the description below and on Tamlin's video as well. And we may even have a sneaky little surprise for you guys right at the end of the challenge. So it's going to run for the whole month of February. Um, my The fabrics aren't sponsored. The way it came about was we were chatting about, I don't know what fabric she's using, but both of Tamlin's are from Rainbow Fabrics and one of mine is anyway. So we thought, why don't we ask them to get on board? And they have very, very generously said they will, which is super exciting. My other fabric is from So 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 and I have, I don't think it exists anymore on her site, but I've linked both websites below. So let's talk about my plans then. Right. Now, for the sake of comparison, I'm using PDF patterns of both, and both have been printed by the fold line. So, um, what is the best way to look at this? Basically, my sister bought me the Sicily slip dress for Christmas, and she bought it from fold line and got it printed from them, um, like as part of the order. So I did the same because I, I kind of wanted, you know, but same format, best space of comparison. While I'm here, I have to say, these pattern envelopes from the fold line are amazing. Like, I love them. I know you could just get an expanding envelope, but I really like them. They're quite fun. So when I was ordering this to get printed, I ordered like a batch of five envelopes as well. And now you can't see it, but up there on the shelf, all my massive PDF patterns have got a home, which is really lovely. Um, so, sorry, sidetracked. Anyway, I've got both patterns. Um, so the starting with the saltwater slip, this has an A to B sewing cup or a C to D. I'm going to do the C to D and I'm probably going to end up as a size, oh, it's American size, isn't it? Size four, I want to say, size two, size four. Um, and my aim with this one is for it to be day wear, ideally, or maybe sort of summer evening-ish wear, you know. Um, but I want it to be something I could wear, strap like just the straps in the summer, 
or layer it up with a t-shirt in the spring with like a jacket or even in the winter with like a long sleeve top. I've always wanted a slip dress like this but I have never ever been able to find one in a shop that is the right length for me, is the right bust dimensions for me um, and it's very frustrating so I thought this actually is a great great option and one thing I'm really excited about for this is it's got the adjustable sliders like you have on a bra strap so hopefully that should take out some of the issues I have a lot of the time with slip dresses um I they haven't arrived yet but I have ordered those sliders from so your own wardrobe because they have a good lingerie selection of like fabrics and notions so I knew they'd have some but I'm sure other places do them as well um but I've linked the ones I got below so you guys can see them um so in an attempt to make this more of a sort of day day wear exciting version my fabric is hopefully matching that so this is my fabric uh it's a peach skin it's very lightweight it's from so 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 and yeah this I bought this I think it's 1.8 meters I got as a remnant um and it's beautiful I don't know if you can see this it's like it's opaque um so you can't actually see any color through it but in the light you will be able to see a little bit of form that doesn't really bother me that's fine um but it's lovely and lightweight like can you see the drape on this oh it's beautiful um the fabric was called peach skin on the website I have no idea what its actual composition is uh, but if I can find it I will link it below um but it's <sighs> I don't even know how to explain how it feels. It feels a bit like water. It's so just fluid and soft, but it's not cold. You know how viscose can often be like kind of cold and silky. It's not like that. It feels more like, um, it feels a bit like silk to be honest with that sort of texture. Um, and I'm really excited to work with it. I assume it's gonna be slippery as anything, um, but I think it's really gorgeous. So hopefully you can see that it's like a terracotta color and it's kind of like a tile Aztec print, which is really pretty. Uh, for thread, I'm using Gutman 26, which looks very red, but actually doing the classic test, if you unwind a bit of it and then lay it across the fabric, it basically completely disappears. So this will work well. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. It's a, because I haven't had, I've had a mixed experience with Friday Fashion Company. I wouldn't necessarily have gone for the salt, like I wouldn't have actually picked the salt water but mainly because I've had some issues with their sizing. However, I'm actually really quite excited to work with this pattern and to see if it does work for me because I know that I will not be alone when it comes to finding a slip dress to fit my body. So hopefully this will be a good option. And yeah, I'm just hoping this one will be a little bit more casual, a bit more summery. When it's 35 degrees, I can wear this as just a summer slip dress. Um, but I'm quite keen to engage with that kind of 90s trend of layering with it. Um, so I'm quite excited with that. Now, my second option I've already spoken about a little bit is the Sicily slip dress from Sewn by Mason. And I will be making view A, which is here, but I'll be making a much shorter length so it'll still be like sort of mid thigh um because i prefer that length on me frankly and i'll get more use out of it than if it were long because if it's long you're kind of stuck to evening wear particularly because of the fabric i'm using whereas if it's shorter i can sort of get away with it with like tights and heeled boots which would work for me so I, yeah i'm doing view a so with the straps and the cowl neck i'm a bit nervous about this because i've not really seen anyone with my dimensions make it so it's one of those dresses i really hope it looks good but i'm also a little bit worried it won't um but i am really excited and i am making this in a dead stock satin from rainbow fabrics kilburn uh, this shows up if you've watched my videos for a while this fabric shows up a different color every time i film today it looks really silver uh, but it's like a dove gray like lilac -y. it's it's almost lilac it's very it's a beautiful color uh, it looks yeah it looks very silver here but it's not um it's almost got a, like a tiny amount of sort of purple and maybe if I do that like a sort of pearlescent opalescent sheen and it's going to make a beautiful Sicily slip dress I'm 90% sure this is River Island dead stock and I got it in September I think like with this dress in mind um and I just was like oh it looks so beautiful especially now I'm blonde it's kind of it's a colour I don't think I mean it would have looked great with my old hair as well but I don't think I would have had the 
confidence with my old one to wear it whereas with this I'm like yeah let's let's buy into being blonde um this was a really awkward one to match thread for and in the end I've gone for this kind of grey colour uh which is number eight on the Guterman chart and again if I take that off quite a few of them disappeared but that that disappears completely so we're gonna go with this and yeah this will be my sort of evening dress version the kind of thing I could slip on with tights and boots and a jacket for like a date night at you know like a fancy pub or something but I could also wear without tights with nude heels and a nude clutch with no jacket and go to a proper formal event um but yeah I'm really really excited about this so what am I looking forward to I suppose with these two patterns um well I'm looking forward to getting out of my comfort zone a little bit in terms of it's fiddly sewing with very slippery fabrics it's being precise it's being delicate it's uh it's terrifying um <laughs> it's no it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine um I'm gonna have to dig out some very sharp needles I think and I need to have a little think about seam finishing. So I was considering overlocking, but actually, at least for the for the saltwater slip where I feel a bit more confident, I think I'm gonna do French seams on the whole thing and then they're just inside it and I don't have to think about it. Um, the other thing I'm slightly concerned about is sort of ironing, which I know not generally like of these fabrics, um, although ironing generally is just terrible. So I'm going to cut a wee bit off the bottom of them once my pattern pieces are cut out um, and see how they iron, basically. Um, I do have a pressing cloth, like I've got a really light muslin that I use to press stuff, so I, I can do that. But I just want to make sure that nothing's going to melt if I apply any heat or, you know, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm quite nervous. I think French seams are the way to go. With this, this phrase, like an absolute... Um, well, it froze really badly, <laughs> so yeah, as, you, as you can probably see, I've had it in the in the cupboard for a few months and it is fraying really, really badly. Um, so it might be a French seams job as well, but it might also be for this because I'll probably have to cut it because it's so the Sicily slip dress is cut on the bias, like the whole thing. So what I was thinking about was I might overlock the edges of the entire fabric for when I'm cutting it just to give it a bit more stability and then I'll overlock each piece and take off however much of the seam allowance for when I'm sewing it or it just yeah like because I think this is a bit heavier and I think it will respond to overlocking better whereas the peach skin is it's the chiffon weight and I think French seams are the way to go and I also think the peach skin is going to be more ironable than this so yeah we'll we'll see we'll see this I'm thinking actually about I have a, I have a clothes steamer and I'm thinking about steaming this while I sew and like having it on the mannequin and um, steaming it, which I think might work better. Uh, but I'll I'll have a think and see see what will work best. I'll try a couple of things with a remnant of this fabric and check it. Um, but I am nervous. I'm nervous about the fabric types, but I'm excited to hopefully have some really beautiful slip dresses to wear and some nice options for my wardrobe. Um, to sort of engage with a little more. I love a mini dress, I always have. So the fact that I don't have like a day-to-day -day slip dress in my wardrobe is weird because it works for me as a look. Um, but it's something I've, I've always felt a bit self-conscious about. So I'm hoping with the more playful fabric for the day version and then the sort of more sexy slinky fabric for the evening version, then I'll have two options that fit all of my needs. <laughs> So um, this is going to run for the whole of February, so this is my intro video, I'm going to be sewing away in secret and then um, at the end of February myself and Tamlin will reveal our beautiful makes to you, uh, which is really exciting, we, we both can't wait and yeah we will be very secretive in the meantime about what we're up to, but I'll give you the odd, as you know what the patterns are and you know what the fabrics are, um, I'll give you the odd progress update over on Instagram and on my YouTube community tab. So head over to Tamlin's uh, page to check out her intro video, I've linked it below as well, um, and let me know which one you're most excited to see of mine, let me know if you've got any tips for sewing with satin, um, and yeah, I'm really really excited for this guys, so really looking forward to it, and 
very very nervous I, <laughs> I'm so nervous it's ridiculous um but yeah I can't wait so I will see you guys for an update on this project in a month thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time